Ready, set, go. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. Woo, yeah, Friday. So to kind of start this day off, you know, I definitely want to give my condolences to um, Colin and Katie. Um, they suffered a loss within the last 24 hours, and you are in our prayers, um, you know, you are being thought of, you know, and, you know, we have many people around you to help you get through this time. Um, not to say it's not easy. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine how tough, how tough that could be to lose a parent like that. I haven't had to go through that yet, but, you know, you are thought of and you are loved. Um, but we are just up. We are enjoying the morning. It started pouring last night. And also, I want to give an apology. We have been just go 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 so much and um we haven't so some moments where we just forget to pull the camera and vlog so it's kind of nice to not have to do it but in the same time you know that's our our passion that's our dedication that's our responsibility so i do apologize for yesterday's vlog that it's not going to be as fluid as we would have liked it but um you know life happens i would say maybe so but this morning has been good. This morning has been good. Um, there's that new app from Twitter that's out for that live streaming. I played with it yesterday. It was quite interesting. But this morning, it's just quiet. It's just relaxing. It has a cool in the house because you can tell it rained last night. This man is up already enjoying breakfast and walking, watching Mickey Mouse, huh? You come here and say hi real quick. Come here real quick. Real quick, then you can go. Can you just say hi? Hi. Okay. We're done. <laughs> I'll be really simple, okay? I know, he just doesn't like recording anymore. But I go back to work today. Um, but the nice thing is, I have tomorrow off. Then I work Sunday, then I have Monday off. Then I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So not too bad. No complaints. I have a great schedule. There's family in town, so it'll be nice to see them. I'm just really excited. But I hope you guys are getting ready for the weekend. What do you have planned? What are you guys going to do? Hopefully the weather will be nice. I'm thinking about maybe running out to Dollywood tomorrow. I think it'd be fun just to go for a couple hours um, before Kay goes to work, just to maybe let Alec play a little bit. But we'll see. But I'm ready for some coffee. I got a breakfast burrito. Mm-hmm. Let's get this morning started. Off to work right now. Um, I always feel so horrible waking up Kay. I know she's so tired and I just feel bad whenever I have to wake her up. But, I mean, I know I got to, but it just it never gets any easier. But I feel so accomplished today. I've almost been able to get all the laundry done, all the dishes are done. I always feel good when I can leave and I know she doesn't have to do much in the house. Um, so it's always, a, it's always a good feeling. Um, so, but we just talked about Dollywood. Oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun. Um, I was thinking of maybe even doing Periscope on the one of the rides. Oh, that would be so sweet watching people like with it while I'm actually on the ride. Oh, that'd be so awesome. But we shall see. Um, but I hope everybody's going to have a great day today. Um, it's gloomy weather. It's just tough. It's always tough when you have gloomy weather and you have kind of not so good things going on in the world. It's just... It's just tough sometimes, but there's always a silver lining, you know, I hate to be profoundly positive, um, but you know what, that has been able to save me in a lot of tough spots in my life, so, um, but sometimes you gotta be that anchor, and it's hard, but in the end, it's appreciated, so, but hopefully today turns out to be a decent day, tomorrow's supposed to be cloudy, bits of sunshine here and there, highs of like the 50s or 60s. Um, this weather today was brought to you by PACA. <laughs> I feel like I just read the weather channel. <laughs> I did, but <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> oh, I was telling, I was telling Kay, it's so nice when you go to work and you have the next day off because there's this anticipation. You're like, ooh, I get the day off, I'm excited. Ooh, it's been like that for the next couple, last couple days. So like, I went to work on Wednesday, I had yesterday off, I go to work today, I have tomorrow off, and then I work Sunday, and then I have Monday off, and it's like, ooh, I like this a lot. It just, it's a good feeling to know that, ooh, tonight I get to, I can stay up a little later because I, I don't have to work the next day. So it's kinda, it's kinda fun. I really, I really do like it. 
Um, I'm working on a video right now. I just, when I left, I put my little watermark in there. I got it rendering. Um, it's the Disneyland um, Wishes Fireworks, which is really, it's so interesting seeing Disney Worlds to Disneyland. It's, it's just... It's kind of it's kind of sad that I feel like the the technology they've held off for a little bit for Disneyland and Disney World's kind of mainstreamed a lot of stuff like especially with the celebrate the magic, um, the wrap stuff that they put on the castle. Disneyland does that. It's just oh man, Disney World has it to an effect. It's just oh my gosh, it's insane. But you know, it's two different places and you have to look at them in two different perspectives. But it's sad being that you know I've worked at Disneyland. I've been part of Disneyland, and I grew up at Disneyland. Going to Disney World, the two times that I've had, man, I, I'm starting to have a little biased opinion towards Disney World. I'm really starting to like it a lot more, so, oh well. Everybody, everybody told me that. I just like the sheer volume of it, the space. For as many people as are there, it doesn't feel as crowded. It doesn't feel overwhelming. If that amount of people were in Disneyland, oh my gosh, it'd be a headache. I've seen the times when it was like that, and it's just so packed. There's so many people, but oh well. I'm gonna let you guys go. I may, I may do a Periscope. I think that's what it's called, Periscope. I may be saying the completely wrong name, but to me, that's what it sounds like. Um, and I will check on you guys later on tonight. Maybe if I go for a walk outside, I don't know. But if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye, guys. Alec wanted to show you he got, he has dirt in his rum. It's really loud. Look at all that dirt. My goodness. It's in the dirt from. Are you going to put it in there? Okay, let's see. Very nice. We've got a whole construction construction crew in our house. Is that dirt? What is it? It's a flower. Oh, thank you. Mmm, <laughs> that smells nice. There you go. Thank you, bud. Yeah, does it smell good? Can you say hi to everybody? You watching Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Pooh. Now. Who do you like from Winnie the Pooh? You like Tigger? Oh. Oh, it's him. You met him at Disney World, didn't you? Remember you met Winnie the Pooh and Tigger? Uh, mm, 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 Your flower fell down? Uh? Okay, we'll find it. I got too comfortable, you guys. Now Alex awake and I have to go upstairs and I'm just too comfortable. Mm. You know how there's that like there's that window where when kids nap it's like if they take like an hour nap or like whatever you'd still be busy enough to be able to get stuff done. And then when they woke up you'd go up and get them and it would be no big deal. Well he has passed that window and now it's like okay so it was would have been fine before but then I got comfy and I started doing things and now I just it's not that I don't want to see him it's not that I don't want him to wake up it's that it the process of me actually walking upstairs is significantly harder now than it would have been oh say an hour ago oh my I'm sorry you guys for all the yawning all right here I go going upstairs to get him. All right, it's time to go to bed. Oh, eek. oh we're going to read first. Yeah, we're going to read the truck book first, right? Yeah. So in a little bit, I will show you what I've been doing while Alec has been playing because he's been doing a lot of playing. <laughs> and for, but for right now, we're going to say night to Alec. Can you say night night? Can you say love you? No. Can you blow kisses? <gasps> All right. Well, he will see you tomorrow. Mm -mm. I will see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys, don't mind, for one thing, the really loud fan going on or the trash right here. But that, that, and that are all being donated, and probably that. I don't really know what's in there. But those three containers are all being donated. Whew, I went through all of my stuff. So like I went through the closet, my my stuff at least. I went through my closet, I went through my dresser, 
and then any laundry that I had going on, you know, or that was done already, and got rid of everything I'm not wearing, and it feels so good. It was such a nice like, cleanse. It was great. It's also really nice to see everything hung up in your closet, so it's like, okay, that's what I have. You know, it was just nice. So, next we'll be doing that with T, although I doubt he'll have as much. It won't be as drastic. Guys don't tend to have as many clothes as girls, but, um, yeah, that's really exciting. I can't wait to just get it out of the house and not have to worry about it anymore because I'm so bad about, like, as soon as I see something in there, I'm like, well, I kind of wear that sometimes, and I'd wear that again, and it's like, no, you haven't worn it in six months, you're not going to wear it again, you know? So, anyway, just thought I'd share my excitement. Yay! Cleaning! Alright, you guys, so Alex finally fell asleep, and he just wanted to play and play and play and play and play and play, play today. He did not want to go down for anything. Like, he just wanted to keep playing. I kept going in there into his room because excuse me, I was organizing upstairs while he was upstairs in his room. I was just kind of trying to give him a little bit of space and, you know, whatever, some time to play. And I would go into his room and he'd be laying on his stomach with his legs up in the air, like, you know, his feet up in the air. And he would just be kicking his feet and playing with his toys. And, oh, it just makes me, like, I'm excited that he is getting older and that he's just a little boy, you know. I'm excited about that, but it still throws me off sometimes when I see him do things like that. I just think, you're too young to do stuff like that. But then I realize that in two months, almost one month, um, he's going to be three. So he's not a little boy anymore. But, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, he's still at work for a little while longer. Not too much. He should be getting off of work pretty soon within the next couple of minutes. Um, and I'm hoping he got my message because all of a sudden I have the hugest craving for corn nuts or beef jerky. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? I don't think together would be a good thing. I don't know. I promise you guys, I do eat well. Like, <laughs> It's occasional that I have these crazy weird cravings, and so, but normally my biggest craving has been salad, so that's pretty exciting. I mean, I'm happy about that, because then occasionally I can eat, you know, a handful of corn nuts or, or a couple pieces of beef jerky and be fine, so, um, so yeah, but hopefully he got that message, otherwise, I don't know, maybe I'll go out and get something later. So, alright, well, I'm going to end the vlog because I'm pretty sure he's not going to, if he does, I'll just cut this out. But, thank you for the awesome comments, by the way. We've gotten some really sweet, nice comments lately, and, um, and I really enjoy reading those, and it's a fun surprise. We just, we don't get many comments, um, or at least we haven't in the past, so it's really fun to be able to get comments, um, and see that you guys enjoy the vlogs or, you know, anything like that. It's just really, really fun. So, um, so thank you for those of you who have commented and who are continuing to watch and enjoy the vlogs. Hopefully these aren't too dull for you. I feel like we do the same stuff all the time. So I don't know, but it's funny because other vloggers that I watch will say the same thing. And I think, no, it's a good vlog. I like your vlog, but I guess when you live your life all the time, like the whole 24 hours of it, you were kind of like, well, that was dull. But when you think about, you know, the 10 or so minutes you put into a vlog, I guess it doesn't necessarily seem that way. I don't know. Regardless, tomorrow's going to be really fun. Um, I think we're going to go somewhere for a few hours before I go to work and have some fun outside. So hopefully it's not too cold because it's been chilly, chilly today. But, um, all right, you guys. Well, I will talk to you later. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So have a good night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Just go ahead and click subscribe. You know you want to. Why are you hesitating?